well, as you can see, I look a right mess this is on day. Three days later. 703 of quarantine and lockdown this year. So yeah, basically, this is what I look like. I look like such a mess because, you know, I'm locked down on that. Okay. Anyway, hello. Happy New Year. It's Molly. Okay, so basically, I just feel a bit weird. But yeah, you know what's going on in the world at the moment? I think I just want to say something about that first before I get into my video. Anyway, so yeah, obviously we all know what happened and what's going on. And we had Blackout Tuesday. And well, I just want to mention that everyone, just be kind. Be kind to yourself and be kind to anyone. Because no one knows what's going on behind closed doors. You have no idea what's happening in someone's life. Anyway, yeah, so now I've mentioned that, I'm just going to link everything below and yeah, I'm going to leave the rest to you. And today I'm going to give you a little introduction on some healthy treats which you can eat while maintaining weight loss or just maintaining your health, etc. Just any little treats and honestly you can't even tell the health there. But these treats are going to be quite high in protein because that's what I meant before. But obviously the sun's been out and everything and I've been tanning. Well, I'll show you my fit tan, my fit tan line. Yeah, you'll be impressed. You'll be well impressed. Look at that bitch. Oh yes, who's the tanning queen? But anyway, right, so I've got a little bit of colour and I'm genuinely thinking of like fake tanning my life away. But yeah, so basically into the video, I've got five healthy treats. We'll go and crack on. And these will all be on my Instagram for future use so you can all go and have a look. So please go check that out, it's Fit Mall and please like and subscribe. Okay, so we have ventured down into the kitchen as you can probably tell. And I'm going to get my penny on now, which I never actually ever do, but for you. Actually, really funny story, right? So when I was in high school, I was um, I was like this, the prom committee team. Oh my God, it's so disgusting. Please do not judge me, it's very disgusting and very messy. Anyway, so I was in the prom committee and basically we had to like raise funds for prom and all this. And I was a great baker back then, I baked loads of cakes. So, I won at prom, this penny. But anyway, and they gave me this, this, um, master baker thing so yeah whenever i put it on my ego just boosts 110 percent so yeah basically we're just gonna get cracking i think i'm going to make the chickpea cookies and they are so soft and gooey inside so i think we're gonna make them first <laughs> Right, okay, so I've got all my ingredients, I'm going to show you them, but I'm just going to whiz the camera around because that is so much easier than me going, me, 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 me. So yeah, basically, I've got my honey, my chickpeas, my vanilla extract, yep, smooth peanut butter, pack of chocolate chips, baking powder, and table salt. And this is what makes the delight of the gooey chocolate chip cookies. Oh, me and my lovely self have got the chickpeas and drain the chickpeas. First, what I'm going to do is take my 240 grams of drained chickpeas and shoot them in the food processor or a blender, whatever works for you. And I'm just going to put them on until they're all whisked up. Next, I'm going to take the tablespoon and I'm going to use two tablespoons of delish peanut butter usually i don't like to use a lot of peanut butter because honestly it is full of the calories one thing i do know is when you're trying to make these peanut cookies use a natural peanut butter without any artificial fat or whatnot or else they'll just go and do it i've now got half a cup of peanut butter to put in as well as the two teaspoons so you've got half a cup, a cup of peanut butter now guys half a cup of clay honey i put it in the microwave to melt it and it's really hot so it doesn't need me, obviously. Pour it in. Anyway, fill that same tin top. And now we've got a teaspoon of baking powder. And two teaspoons of vanilla extra. We have a pinch of salt. And that is everything. I actually use two tins of chickpeas. So let me just make sure you use two tins. And a little tip, when you're using the honey, just use about three quarters of a half. Don't use more than a half, because they'll be really runny if not. Now I'm just gonna sprinkle a few chocolate chips down and that's what's done. So I've got my three fruit paper, a little ice cream scoop, and just scooping it. And I'm just Make them 
and put them in the oven at 160 degrees C for about 10 minutes and they will be perfect. Okay, so I baked my cookies and they're a bit weird. They look a bit like potatoes, but they're like crap. And when you press them, they're like splodgy. But anyway, I'll show you. So. Like that. Oh, bit hot. Very nice though. I really hope I don't make anyone laugh because for some reason I'm just amazing at that. But anyway, right now, now I'm making Jello, Jello, which is the American saying for jelly. Right, okay, so I'm making Jello, jelly, but it's mousse. So I'm making a mousse. I'm making a jelly mousse. Okay, so as you can probably hear, I've just turned the kettle on. This is an important part of making jelly. Do not forget it. I just read the directions on the back of the packet. So anyway, right. So I'm gonna weigh out my 285 ml of water. I think that's about right. What do you think? Comment down below. Is this 285 ml? Is that 285 ml? What did you say? Cause 200 there. Oh, I think it's like more 250. Let's add a bit more. And now I'm going to put this angel delight jello. Right, right in here now. Ooh. So I'm going to put that in there. Oops. Felt a bit dangerous then again. And I'm going to whack out my wrist. My wrist back there. Okay, so now I've got my 285 ml of water, which I really do hope is 285 ml because it's just wiggling around and I can't wait. But anyway, it's near enough, and I'm just gonna shove it. And basically, I'm gonna just keep whisking my jelly. I wish this whisk I could be here for a while because you've got to wait until it's all properly dissolved. And it looks like it's fully dissolved. Would you say it's fully dissolved? I think it's fully dissolved. I'm gonna tell you what's next. My vanilla protein powder is wet. Another one in. Okay, fair. That's like, that's 90 something grams. I'm just gonna whisk it in. So now it looks like this. Like a creamy, looks like cream, like a creamy colour. Next, I'm going to take my fat free great yogurt. My Dutch dress, these are, I'm always getting mucky. Dutch dress, these are exactly the same. They're both fat free, just the different brands. Skyrath is very expensive, this one is very cheap. So yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna put 10 ounce of yogurt in there. So I'm just, 300, well, 290 it says, so 300 grams, and I'm just gonna whisk it in. So yeah, I'm just gonna whisk it in. Ooh, that looked weird then, didn't it? Mixing the yogurt. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh, it smells amazing. It smells amazing. Quick side note because I'm uh, most of them in the world. Show you my next move. <laughs> okay, right. So my mum gave me these cute little glasses. Look at them to put the mousses in. But they were in the cupboard, so I just gave them a nice quick wash and a nice rinse so they're nice and clean. No dust. So I'm thinking with my mixture, I'm gonna pour it into a jug and then pour it in. Pour it in. But I'm seriously debating. <coughs> How this is all gonna fit into these, but I've got others. They are my little mousses, and I'm just gonna put them in the fridge overnight, obviously, and see how they turn out. So yeah. Okay, so next I'm going to make the black bean, bean, the black bean protein brownies. But honestly, this is like the most simplest recipe you probably ever ever seen in your whole entire life okay, so i'm just gonna take one tin this time of um black beans and i'm just gonna drain it and basically all we do all the ingredients we blend in my magical food processor i'm just going to turn this on there we are beautiful and then next i'm going to take my magical cup again and there's one quarter of honey this time. Put a tin. Taking a while. <laughs> you get the big spray, the little spoon. And now we whisk. Okay, so next is um, a third of a cup of coconut oil. I'm gonna warm up this and pour it in. Pour that in. One tablespoon of vanilla extract. Put that in. And I want a quarter of a tablespoon of baking powder. Chuck that in. I want a quarter sea salt. This comes out so quick. I 
wonder why is it wrong with them? Yum! I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of stevia. But you can use coconut sugar or whatever, or to be honest, not just normal sugar. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like snow. It smells like snow. And then, after I've used the snow, I want to use a quarter of a cup of cocoa powder. Then I also want two eggs. So I'll crack the eggs, I'm just gonna spin them round. I'm just gonna spin them round. Mix the eggs. Just gonna pull them in too. It's quite a runny mixture. Anyway, let's watch this one because I feel like it's gonna be well satisfying. Are you ready? And on. <laughs> weren't as satisfying as I originally imagined. Okay, so now we're just gonna add the final ingredient, which is the most important ingredient of of it all. So I've got a few chocolate chips. So I'm going to chip a few of these in. Not many though. And then, right, from a woman's bed, I bought protein chocolate. So I'm gonna try this. So I'm gonna get put them in a bag and just mash it. Oh, it looks quite hot, but it looks nutty. You can definitely tell it's protein chocolate. It's not your dairy. I'm just gonna bash it in my little basher. But if you don't have one of these, just get your get your rolling pin and whack it on the floor. Shove it in. Okay, so I've got my um, greaseproof paper. I'm just gonna try and pour it in. Just and you can put anything in it, you could put nuts in it, strawberries, anything. They are Molly's black bean brownies. Mm -hmm. How delicious does that look? Like right, that. I'm just gonna sprinkle some chocolate chips on top. I'm gonna pop them in the oven. Okay, so I've just cut up the protein brownies and this is what they look like. They look delicious and they are amazing. And basically, right, I didn't realise how long that was going to take me. So I've made you three recipes and I said I was going to make five. But we're just going to call this part one of the video. And next time, I'm going to do three. Maybe not next week, but the week after. I'll definitely give you three more healthy treats. Okay, I'm back. But basically, just because I wanted to show you the results of, like, the jello and all the brownies, how they're all in boxes and everything. And I just wanted to say, like, honestly, I'm shocked with how it's turned out. Like, they're all under 150 calories, so that's a bonus. So, yeah, I'm just going to take you and we'll go have a look. Okay, so the sun is shining. It's hot, but I'm, like, in the golden hour. Anyway, so the jello, honestly, it looks so much like mousse. And there is 145 calories in one. And it looks very nice. So it looks like that. Jay and that and they'll shake it. So I think it's just gonna be like a jelly mousse, so I'm so excited to try it. I might put a few raspberries, a bit of mango on top. So yeah. It smells amazing. It smells like it smells like yogurt jar like fromage free. It smells like that. So maybe that's how they make it. Okay, so now I've got the black bean brownies and the chickpea cookies, which we made together. And so they've all been put away in boxes. The so black bean brownie was 122 calories, which is a lot less than the other one. And honestly, they've like nearly all gone. So yeah, they have gone down a hit. Highly recommend them. And the last one was the chickpea cookies, which are very like, they're very squidgy and like soft. So they are like soft cookies. They're like the most amazing cookies you can ask for. Anyway, so I got 12 out of them and they were 145 calories. So clearly the black bean brownie has won because there's less calories and it tastes delicious. But obviously I don't recommend having one a day, but they are so nice. Anyway, so that's my video. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy. And I will see you next week for another video and part two of the healthy treats. So yeah, thank you for watching. I'm going to love you and leave you.